So I was thinking, since I'm spending all of this money to become a nuclear physicist and engineer, I might as well put my degree to work by overanalyzing Chinese cartoons. Oh, no! JoJo's is a smart show. JoJo's is a dumb show. JoJo's is beautiful. And JoJo's is... I don't know what this is, but it's kind of hot. But central to the core of what makes JoJo's bizarre is the concept of the psychic manifestation of a person's inner fighting spirit, or what we call a stand. Every stand has a unique ability that can be used in wacky and interesting ways. Of the 33 stands that appear in JoJo's Part 3, Stardust Crusaders, the most menacing must be Dio's The World, a stand that's ability was hidden throughout the entire show with the nearly invincible power to stop time. But how does one actually stop time? I believe the answer lies somewhere in Einstein's theory of special relativity. To tackle the menacing concept of special relativity, we must start small. We begin in what's called an inertial reference frame. The Earth is considered an inertial reference frame because from our point of view, everything is standing still, not moving. And when you move in one direction relative to something, they also move relative to you. We call this representation of movement a vector, something with speed and direction. And it's the backbone of Newtonian physics, the standard branch of physics taught in high school. However, this guy, decided that doesn't describe the full picture. Einstein realized under the conditions of moving reference frames, specifically accelerating reference frames, the basic laws of physics begin to break down, break down. If your plane is moving at a constant 240 kilometers per hour before hitting a volcano, you aren't accelerating, meaning that everything within the reference frame of the plane is moving at that speed. So if you were to toss a ball straight up in the air, it would come straight back down to you. But when you make your reference frame move at a fraction of the speed of light, which doesn't sound like much, but really is, things get messy. Light travels 93 million miles from the sun to the earth in eight minutes. With velocity being distance over time, this clocks in the speed of light, C, at three times 10 to the eighth meters per second, or approximately one foot per nanosecond. An interesting fact about the speed of light is that it is constant in every single reference frame. As I said before, if you were to throw a ball up in the air in the moving reference frame, it would come right back down to you. But an observer looking from a distance would see that a ball travels in a triangular path, up then down. So if we were to take velocity to be a constant, and we know that the distance the ball has traveled has increased, the math shows that the distance and time are inversely proportional, so time must have decreased. This basic premise can be used to understand the phenomenon known as time dilation. Under insane conditions, fast moving objects begin to contract in mass, length, and wavelength. But what does this have to do with our Lord and Savior Dio Sama? Based on the way that the world is portrayed in JoJo's, it's very likely that Dio has accelerated himself to a sublight speed to make the illusion of stopping time. Let's take a look at what happens. So setting aside Dio's superhuman vampiric traits, likely giving him extra performance capabilities, our goal is to give a rough estimate for how fast Dio could be moving to stop time. I mean, an A in speed really isn't enough information, but it's a start. We know that both the world and Star Platinum are very similar to each other, so we can kind of use the feats of Star Platinum to give an estimate for how the world works, since we don't get too much in the show or the manga. One of the most insane things that Star Platinum does at the very beginning of Part 3 is stop a moving bullet from hitting Jotaro point blank. The model of weapon Jotaro handles accurately resembles a new Nambu M60, the standard firearm for the Japanese police during the 1980s until today. Based on the Smith & Wesson Model 37, the M60 has an approximate muzzle velocity of 221 meters per second or 725 feet per second. So we know that Star Platinum without the world has a minimum natural reaction speed of nearly 100 miles per hour. But when comparing it to even 1% of 1% of the speed of light, 
it doesn't even come close by being off of about three orders of magnitude. For reference, the Earth spins at nearly a thousand miles per hour, which is still an order of magnitude greater than how fast Star Platinum can move. While it was later confirmed in Part 6 that Star Platinum could move faster than the speed of light, development potential wasn't fully reached, so Star Platinum couldn't have been moving that fast during the fight with the world. We're considering that Dio is moving so fast that not even Star Platinum can react to those movements, at least during the beginning of the fight. When the world is activated, a flash of color is shown before everything begins to fade in the background. This is outside the scope of this video, but because light behaves like a free particle of energy with wave-like characteristics, we can assign different wavelengths for different colors of light, such as ultraviolet, visible, and infrared. If Dio were truly moving faster than anyone else, the wavelength of light off of any pigment from any object hitting his eyes would be shorter than the wavelength hitting anything else in the surrounding area. Briefly, for those who still think Dio freezes time itself, think about all of the consequences. Every object in Egypt and every particle in the air would also freeze as well. Light couldn't even reach your retina to create anything. And let's not even get into how it would tear apart the fabric of the space-time continuum. If Dio were moving very fast, he would still be free to interact with any object around him. So, back to the question at hand, how fast is Dio moving? We can get a pretty good estimate with one of the most bizarre scenes from all of JoJo's. The average tandem drum roller weighs approximately 54 tons, and in the scene where it's moving with Dio, it has a width of about 3 meters and a length of about 4.5 meters based on pixel measurements. In the confrontation on top of the road roller, the same vehicle seems to have mysteriously increased in size to support the conflict between both Jotaro and Dio, having a width of 3.5 meters and a length of about 5 meters. Coincidence? Probably, but I'm gonna use it anyways. <coughs> Finally, using the trusty length contraction formula from Special Relativity, we can determine that Dio must be traveling a minimum of 0.43589c, or 43.589% the speed of light. Still not infinite speed, but definitely enough to achieve heaven. Oh no! Thank you so much for watching. This video honestly took forever to make, but it was so much fun and so interesting that I finally got to use all of this stuff in a really, really cool way. So if you like to see more, leave a like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments which stand you want me to do next. Have a beautiful duang, and I'll see you next time.